Yes, there's no question about the fact that until we find a cure, like with infections, you have a pneumonia, you have a urinary, urinary tract infection. I can treat that, and it's gone, because I know exactly what's causing it, a bacteria or maybe a virus. We don't know the trigger in rheumatoid arthritis. We're not there yet. So it's very, so what we're doing now is basically treating our idea of the immunological over-responsiveness by bringing down the thermostat of the inflammation. By doing so, sometimes you may overshoot and new tests are now being put together to try to find out exactly where you are in that immunological thermostat. But people do have a two-fold increased risk of infections on anti-TNF therapy over what you would have if you just took methotrexate. And if you have rheumatoid arthritis on no medicines, you have a two-fold increased risk of infections also because of the abnormal regulation of the immune system. Let me mention one important thing. Um, tuberculosis which is not that common here in the United States, but it's very common elsewhere in the world. Some of us get tuberculous infections and our body kind of wall them off in our lung. They kind of corral them. And the tuberculous organism can't do anything. And that corral is set up second by second by the body using TNF. And so if you block TNF, you could potentially stop the corral and the tuberculosis can get out. But, but the fact is that's very uncommon, and that's why we always test you. We do a PPD skin test to make sure that you haven't had tuberculosis. And if you have a positive skin test, we give you nine months of INH, which is a prophylactic antibiotic, and that usually takes care of it completely. But infections are important. And you have anything that sounds like an infection, fever, chills, cough, you call your doctor immediately. And I may give you an antibiotic more quickly than I would somebody else who's not on these medicines because you have to jump on it. And every one of you on an anti-TNF needs to be immunized with flu, October, November, before the flu epidemic in January, February. You need to get a pneumovac shot to stop pneumococcal infections. And that's once every five years. And you need to be very much in contact with your doctor if there are any infection-type symptoms.